This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from Diagostini. If you'd like to build along, pop along to diagostini.com where you can order one for your very own. They also have several other part work build up models that you can build for everything from cars to boats and everything in between. So I'd like to thank them very much for giving me the opportunity to build this so you can all watch and see exactly how it all goes together. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 99 of building the Ford GT40 from Diagostini. Uh, let's have a look in this issue. We're getting some bits buttoned together. Uh, we're putting the, the uh, midsection onto the chassis. It's always nice to get that sort of stuff done. Uh, the Ford Fiesta ST. Uh, yeah, sporty little uh, racers car in it, the Fiesta. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, the new version's quite nice. They've uh, got some shaping to it, a little bit bigger than the old one, I think. So, yeah, that does the job. See those on the road. Uh, so, yes, this is what we've got. We've got the other side panel, which, again, I'm not even going to open. Uh, we get to fit the rear view mirror to the R chassis and then fit that uh, the, to the top middle section and then fit that onto the wheels and everything so that's gonna be the next stage uh i'm liking how it's coming together so let's let's get it together so yes we've got another pack um of much the same we've got the body that we've been dealing with we've got the rear view mirror that we're going to be installing in a minute uh this is very similar to the last one obviously the numbers in a different position for the other side um not sure what the other little bits on there are but I'm pretty sure we're going to be opening those soon because, uh, yeah, we're getting to the end, but we are getting towards the end. Uh, but first of all, we've got to fit this rear view mirror, obviously, in the position that rear view mirrors go. Uh, I'm happy that they haven't made us do it yet because, obviously, it's in danger of getting caught and knocks and things. So that goes in there, obviously facing into the car. locates in there it feels like that doesn't like lock in place at a slight angle which is how it should be so the driver can now see what's happening behind him although he's not really going to be worried about what's going on behind him uh, i've got some fd01 screws which we're going to be using to attach this to the chassis i need four of those let's get those out uh, one two three four five i'll put that one to one side those there, got the screwdriver there as well. Uh, so this is going to be fitted onto this. Uh, let's see. There we go. Our whole car assembly. Uh, I'll make sure I get the seat belts inside. Uh, there are the electronics around as well, but but now this is just going to sit over there. Uh, it feels like it doesn't quite fit. Right. It's just going to be a case of uh, actually opening the doors, I think, is going to be the best bet because you've got the whole interior door section that's going to be getting in the way of things. Yeah, that makes that fit over there much nicer. It's the front bit that's very tight now. Get it over the dashboard. And up. Yep, there we go. That is getting in there. Front bit lines up with the tire there as well. I don't like this part of any of these car builds that I've been doing. It always feels a little bit um, not exactly forced, but things are always a little bit snug. Getting these bits together. So, uh, yeah, less happy doing this than any of the other parts of the build, really. That should line up there. Something is not right there. Oh, that's got to go behind that panel. There we go. So then those should close. Caught up somewhere. 
Maybe it's not fully in. Mm, for some reason that's not liking that, so it's probably not fully down. It was down at the back, but I can't really make out exactly what it's doing at the front. Let's try that again. That is down there over the windows. That's not quite right there, I don't think. Mm. Right, let me play around with this and see why that's not lining up. Because I'm going to need to flip it around and turn it around and get it in different angles that you won't be able to see anyway. So uh, I'll see you how it goes and then we'll get the screws in and see how it looks. Right, yes, I found the problem. Uh, the back was actually not right. Very, I've got one side correct. This side is not. Uh, can you see that there? Yeah, just about. Uh, that needs to be behind this bit. It's behind the second panel, not just not in between the panels. So that's got to go backwards a little bit further. And then that lines up. And then the door shuts. And that goes together. Much better. Like that. So I shall flip this over, get the four screws in place. Uh, they go, these doors are shut now, so I can't really go anywhere. Let's turn this over anyway. If I can get it turned over. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. So we've got one for each back, back pillar. Uh, we've still got these wires coming out that will be going somewhere, but for now they'll just go out the way over here. So we've got one. For each of the back pillars uh, and one at the front there somewhere. Might see where that goes, but let's have a quick look. See if I can tell from the instructions exactly where those screws are going to go. Not very clearly, no, I can't go against the black, is not very helpful to me. Uh, right, let me. See where they're going to go, get them in, and then see, we'll see how it looks finished. And there we have it, uh, all tightened up, all up together. Uh, hopefully the doors will still open and close. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I like it. I like it. It's really coming together nicely and starting to look like a car. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be putting the front end on, and we've got the back end. I think it's coming next time. So uh, we'll get that together very very shortly so thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying the build do leave a comment let me know what you think and i shall see you for more very very soon but uh starting to look like a race car a uh, little bit concerned about these wires that are still sticking out various places but obviously they're going to be connecting up to the body work which is going to have lights in it so um, it makes sense but uh hopefully we'll get there very soon so uh let me shut it's just uh from this angle the paint doesn't line up quite the same but yeah there we go see you soon thanks for watching stay safe bye bye for now